Good morning. Uh, today is Friday, July 22nd, 2018, and uh, we are approaching 11 o'clock in the morning, uh, and we are going on another cruise. Uh, this time, we hope to be out for a week, which was kind of the goal all along, but we're just getting to it now. Uh, so uh, we're currently still at Pine Island Marina. Uh, first thing I did when I got here is to row out to the mooring and then bring the boat uh, back to the dock uh, for provisioning. Uh, and then uh, that shouldn't take too long. And then we'll get underway. Uh, so see you on the water. almost 12.30 now, uh, and it's taken us a little while to get kind of settled in uh, out here on the water. Some of it is, the, the wind seems a little fluky. Fortunately, there there is wind, good wind. It's, uh, oh, 10 knots or so out of the southeast. So uh, here on day one of our cruise, uh, we are, as we often are on uh, leaving Pine Island Marina, headed race um, and I guess this is as good time as any to once again show you the chart I know you've seen it a lot but it helps explain things so once again Pine Island Marina is up here in the very corner of page 7 of our map tech chart book and we are headed uh, down to uh, again our waypoint off little gull and we're we're out in this area uh, at the moment uh, <clears throat> and on a, a close reach I'd say not quite close hauled about 10 maybe 20 degrees off that uh, <clears throat> and we have another uh, 45 minutes or so uh, according to the GPS to get out here uh, after which we are going to head westward uh, and the wind should be uh, more behind us there and actually we where I think we're gonna head is up into Halleck Bay up in here and I'll show you more detail on that uh, as we get closer So we uh, got out to Little Gull Island at about 1.30 uh, and turned a bit to the west uh, to head towards uh, Orient Harbor. Uh, we're, uh, at 1.30 we were about an hour before slack current, but uh, the race was very quiet for whatever reason, uh, so that was a non-issue. It uh, continues to be a pleasant day, a few more clouds. Uh, the wind feels like it's slacked off a little, but that's perhaps because I've turned to be a little more downwind. Uh, 
and uh, yeah, it looks like three or four hours to uh, <clears throat> get down to the entrance of Orient Harbor. But I'm gonna say, we're not in a hurry. It's about 10 minutes of 4, and we are uh, getting pretty close to Orient Harbor. Another quick look at the chart. So we've come down here along Long Beach, near the North Fork of Long Island, and we're 10 minutes or so away from this red buoy, number 2, and so then we'll Turn up this way and then up this way and at some point we'll start the engine and motor into Halleck Bay. It is now 5.30 and we are anchored in Halleck Bay. Uh, so uh, the sky has uh, entirely clouded up uh, in the last 90 minutes or so. It was headed in that direction anyway. The wind, uh, well, sometimes it seems strong and now it's, uh, well, it's there. It's not, it doesn't seem as strong. It's probably uh, just my perception because I'm now comfortably out of it. Um, so the the weather forecast last I knew was for weather tomorrow and I don't know if we're gonna sit that out or go out and brave it but um, just to uh, keep our options uh, maximized we have put up the bimini and the pop top enclosure which uh, we haven't been doing a lot of uh, last season and this is the first time this season and I've got it uh, unbuttoned on the front to uh, allow some through ventilation but uh, that could be buttoned up quickly if necessary and we'll do it for overnight so uh, it's time for a well-earned cold beer and I'm a little past due for uh, my regularly scheduled nightly call to my wife to let her know everything is just wonderful. We'll be back later. It's about 6.30 and we are starting to think about dinner. Uh, normally, we actually, we'd start thinking about uh, dinner sooner than this, but, uh, well, we got in kind of late. And, uh, and well, it's a long story. We had, <laughs> we had lunch a little later than normal. So, anyway, it's time. Uh, and we're going to have one of those uh, dehydrated backpacking meals. Uh, we do have one uh, frozen uh, meal from home. It just didn't work out to um, <clears throat> have more. I, I don't make those specially. It's just uh, my wife makes, makes a dinner of uh, something that turns out to be suitable, and there's leftovers, and, and we freeze that. So... That's uh, more serendipity than a plan. Uh, but I've got plenty of the dehydrated meals uh, uh, made ahead. Uh, and tonight we're going to uh, do a new one, which is... Uh, um, uh, chicken and rice with vegetables. Uh, and this one has something uh, new uh, in that uh, the, the chicken that's in here is freeze-dried chicken. Uh, I've tried various ways of dehydrating chicken and none of them worked. Um, I looked up things on the internet and uh, there were special ways to cook it or some people suggested canned chicken and 
tried all those. None of them work. A uh, little testing independently with the freeze-dried uh, chicken uh, does indicate that it will work. It requires me changing my process a little bit in that, obviously, uh, the, the freeze-dried chicken does not go into the meal as it's being cooked. So it's, it's added to the meal after it's dehydrated. I, I think it's going to work out, but we'll see. So here's what the meal looks like in this plastic bag. And we're going to dump it into some water. And bring that to a boil. So here is our chicken and rice with vegetables rehydrated. It's uh, pretty soupy, which is not uncommon. I have to say the chicken t tastes and, and feels whatever, I mean, like fresh chicken. So that's a success. There's something about the rice that seems different from other rice uh, dehydrated meals um, that I've made. This is very fine. Uh, not sure, but it tastes good, and it's hot, uh, so we're going to eat it. Well, it's about 8.30, and uh, I guess that'll do it for today. No shots of a nice sunset uh this evening unfortunately it's entirely overcast and probably uh no sun rises tomorrow morning uh so the chicken and rice and vegetables uh was as i said tasty um we'll call that a success but i may make some adjustments to the recipe um well and uh that wraps up a day here on silver heels at 14 miles an hour the pressure was 29.95 inches and falling throughout connecticut it was cloudy morning. Uh, it is Saturday morning, day two of our little adventure, and it is a blustery morning. Uh, don't know exactly what the winds are, but, um, well, they're blustery. Uh, so there's significant gusts, uh, plus we're getting some rain, and we're that's supposed to go on pretty much all day. Uh, there were earlier uh, forecasts of thunderstorms, but they seem to have dropped out of the forecast, so uh, at least we're not expecting that. But given the wind and the rain, uh, our tentative plan uh, here for work today is to sit it out and spend a nice relaxing day uh, on anchor. That probably won't make for a lot of fascinating video, but we'll, we'll see what unfolds. Well, here's a riveting topic for a rainy day. Uh, I thought I'd walk you through the process of uh, how I do dishes here on Silver Heels. Uh, so I try to do this just once a day. So this uh, three gallon bucket here in the cockpit is uh, kind of the first step in the process. Uh, so that's got uh, seawater in it, uh, a little more than half full, maybe two thirds. And uh, it's got uh, dishes from dinner last night and breakfast this morning and uh, I'm, I've already made my sandwich for lunch so uh, that's three meals worth of uh, dirty dishes. So and the next step is to uh, heat up some water. That's about uh, 12 ounces of water which happens to be uh, close to three pumps of the foot pump. Uh, sometimes I'll also heat up water for tea at the same time, but I've already had tea this morning. So we'll bring this to a boil. So we've got a collapsible uh, tub and we've put uh, some cold water in there, about twice as much as uh, the water we uh, brought to a boil and a, a very small amount of uh, dish soap and we'll add the hot water and hopefully that will uh, 
rate a situation where the temperature is, yeah, hot but not scalding. And we moved our bucket of dirty dishes over here to the side, and we've set up the uh, companionway hatch in uh, table mode, and we can just do the dishes here. And everything uh, is uh, rinsed in the sink uh, to wash up any soap residue. And uh, that's a situation where the foot pump uh, comes in handy uh, relative to a hand pump. Though, of course, an electric pump would be easy too. And we'll finish things up with the dish towel and put everything away and be done. Well, it hasn't actually rained in a little while. And the sky seems a little brighter despite the uh, fog that's uh, settled in. Yeah, but I don't think the wind has diminished much, and it's uh, no one's idea of a pleasant day out there. So it's coming up on 6 o'clock, around dinner time, and obviously nothing very eventful has happened today. Uh, I read almost a complete book. <laughs> uh, but things have changed some. So outside we have... A lot less wind and somewhat more fog. The big change is the wind. It's uh, much reduced. So, and the forecast for tomorrow is uh, for wind like this uh, 5 to 10 to maybe 15. Uh, so, not, nothing like today. The, the direction of the wind was, was good today for where we wanted to go, which is west. Uh, and tomorrow it'll be southwest, according to the forecast. So we'll have to uh, work against it, I guess, to some extent. But uh, I don't think we'll be going very far. Anyway, it's, uh, as I said, getting close to dinner time. And so we'll have another one of those uh, backpacking dehydrated meals. Tonight is beef stroganoff, which we may have had before once. Oh, and we'll have a salad too. We got lots of time, so I uh, got time to make a salad. So there's our dehydrated meal with some uh, frozen peas I brought along added, and we'll bring that to a boil and put it in the towel for uh, about half an hour, and uh, we'll have a meal. So it looks like I uh, guesstimated the amount of water required for the uh, beef stroganoff. I'm pretty close to correct. Uh, just by luck. So there's our beef stroganoff and our uh, salad. The only uh, item from our garden in there are the uh, little um, snow peas. And of course, a glass of wine. 